Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Well, time to sum up all the new announcements from the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. So this morning, Apple had a ton of new announcements as Phil Schiller delivered the keynote at the Worldwide Developers Conference. They announced new MacBooks. They gave us some information about upcoming release of Snow Leopard. They told us about iPhone OS 3.0 and also about new iPhones. So the most interesting thing about the new MacBook Pros is that there's a lot more of them. This is because the 13-inch MacBooks are now MacBook Pros. And they now not only have new screens and an SD card slot, but also have FireWire 800. All the MacBook Pros seem to now have these SD card slots in them. And they've got a little bit better specs as well. So new for the 15-inch MacBook Pros is the built-in battery. This is going to be a 7-hour battery with a 5-year life. In addition, there's all new prices. At the low end, you've got the 13-inch MacBook Pro for $1199. At the high end for the 15-inch, you've got $2299, which includes a solid-state drive. And you also have a cheaper 2500 17-inch MacBook Pro. There are also going to be new MacBook Airs, with the low-end model being $1499 and a $1799 model that includes a solid-state drive. There was also, of course, talk about Snow Leopard. We now know its price and release date. For most people, Snow Leopard is going to cost $29. That's as an upgrade to people who already have a Leopard. If by chance you have an Intel machine that has Tiger, it's probably going to cost you some more. We'll find out more about that later. In addition, it's going to come out sometime in September. The rest of the talk was about the new features, like how it'll be faster and things like that. And we already knew most of this. But what we didn't know was that Safari 4 kind of feature of Snow Leopard is actually going to be released today. It will be out for people who use Leopard, Tiger, and even Safari Windows users. We also found out a lot more about iPhone OS 3.0. So this is the third major release of the iPhone OS. And it looks like it's coming out really soon, June 17th. It will be free for iPhone users and it will cost 10 bucks for iPod Touch users. And this includes all the features that we already knew about, things like copy and paste, the ability for apps to do things like communicate with external hardware. Stuff like that. Two interesting things we found out is that Safari on the iPhone with iPhone OS 3.0 will support HTML5. This allows for a lot of interactivity and rich media that we didn't have before. Another interesting thing is the iPhone will easily support tethering to your Mac. However, it has to be supported by your phone company. And unfortunately, AT&T in the US is not going to support it. And of course, the most anticipated announcement of the keynote was of a new iPhone. It's going to be called the iPhone 3GS. The S is for speed. Even though it has the same form factor, it's going to have very different parts inside. That's going to speed up just about every part of your iPhone experience. And also, it's going to have a new camera. It's going to be a 3 megapixel camera with lots of cool features including autofocus and things like that. And most importantly, it's going to be able to record video. And there will be a video recording app that will allow you to record video and even edit it on your iPhone. You'll be able to upload to MobileMe, YouTube, and even send it via MMS when MMS becomes available later as AT&T offers it sometime later this summer according to the keynote. Two other cool new features, voice control so you can do voice dialing and control other things on the phone and also a compass. This will help with directions especially with some of the anticipated turn by turn direction apps coming out. Prices are going to remain pretty close to the same. 200 bucks is going to get you a 16 gig version, 300 bucks will get you a 32 gig version. And an interesting move, they're still going to sell the iPhone 3G in an 8 gig version for only $99. And the all important ship date for this new iPhone 3GS it will be June 19th. And it's going to ship, of course, with the iPhone 3.0 OS already installed. So that wraps it up for today's announcements. You can always continue to follow the news at MacMost.com in the sidebar and also on our top news page. And you can go ahead and look there for more news that comes out this week, either from Apple or from third parties at the Worldwide Developers Conference. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>